Hey guys, welcome to another video of Microsoft Office Tutorials. In this video, we are going to discuss about hyperlinks in Excel. To discuss what are hyperlinks and how we can use hyperlinks, we will use some real life practical examples that will also help us to understand where we can use these hyperlinks in our daily working with Excel to make our work more proficient and more time saving. So what are hyperlinks? Hyperlinks are actually the links that we use in Excel to directly move from one location to another location or to another cell within same worksheet or within same workbook but different worksheets or to open an other file directly from Excel. That other file may be any video, any picture, any PDF file or even any other Excel file. These hyperlinks are also sometimes used to directly send email to a specified email ID or to go to any uh, website directly from Excel file. So the next thing how we can use these hyperlinks in Excel. To discuss this here we have a table that contains employee numbers, names, position and salaries page to all of these employees in month November 2018. Suppose from this table if you want to know how much we paid total salaries to all of these employees. To know this we need to scroll down and here down we have a cell in which we have sum of all of these salaries. So means whenever we need to know total of all these salaries we need to scroll down to the cell in which we have sum or total of all these salaries. In place of scrolling down every time we can simply insert a, here a hyperlink that will directly take us to the cell that contains total of all of these salaries. So uh, here I have already uh, created a hyperlink to show you how it actually works. Here you can see this is the hyperlink that I have been created total salaries for November. Uh, you will see when I will click on this hyperlink this directly take us to the cell in which we have total of all these salaries. So now how we can insert such a hyperlink that can directly move us from one point to another point within same worksheet. Suppose here we want to insert the same hyperlink again. The first thing that we need to do, uh, we need to check the cell number to which we want to move through hyperlink as this is the cell number D154 to which we want to move through hyperlink. So we need to remember this cell number so that when we will be inserting hyperlink, we can write there this cell number. So uh, what I will do, I will come back to uh, this cell, then I will uh, right click on this and then we will go to hyperlink. Here we have three methods to insert hyperlink. This is first method that uh, we will right click on this and then we will go to hyperlink. The second method is that we will go to insert tab and in insert tab we have here option hyperlink. This will also give us same window when, when we will click on this option. The third method is short key for hyperlink. The short key is control plus K to insert hyperlink. This will also give us the same window. So now what we need to do, we, you can see here we have four types or four uh, ways to use hyperlinks. We need to discuss all of these four ways in this tutorial. But for now we will discuss this second option place in this document because we want to move within this same document. So we will select this second option. Then we will select the sheet in which we want to move as we want to move in the same sheet that is salary summary so we will select this and here we will write the cell number to which we want to move so uh, cell number is D154 in which we have total of all of these salaries then here we also have one option which text or what text we want to show here suppose here we want to show that uh, total salaries so we will write here total salaries so we will go for okay and here you can see we have been created one more hyperlink that will directly take us to the point in which we have or to the cell in which we have total of all of these salaries. One more thing that we can do here, we can insert here one more hyperlink that will take us directly to the start of this sheet or maybe to the uh, cell A1. So how we can insert again the same thing we will go to hyperlink and here we will select this same sheet and uh, cell A1 is also okay here we can write maybe something go back to go back to top of the page maybe so we will go for ok and here you can see this is text when we will click on this hyperlink this will take us to the cell a1 here one more thing that we can do with hyperlink just let me show you i will right click on this and i will go to hype edit hyperlink and here we have one option screen tip actually through this option we can write a text and then this hyperlink will show us the same text when we will take our cursor on this text so let me show you, I will go to this option, option screen tip and maybe we will write text, maybe go to total of salaries and then I will go for ok, I will go for ok and hey, you can see when I will take my cursor on this text, this will show me the same text that I write there, go to total of salaries. 
so this was use of hyperlink to move within same worksheet now suppose that we want to use hyperlink to move within same workbook but maybe to different worksheets as here we have summary of all of these a salary is paid to different employee numbers suppose here uh, any employee comes to us maybe employee number 11018 comes to us and says that this month i have deduction please can you check my pay slip that why i have deduction the one thing that we can do we can just go to this right side and then we will uh, go to this worksheet 11018 in which we have pay slip for employee 11018 the second most professional thing that we can do we can simply insert hyperlink to all of these employee numbers and then these uh, hyperlinks will take us directly to the relevant sheets in which we have relevant pay slips suppose now we want to insert hyperlink for this employee number what we will do we will right click on this we will go to hyperlink and here as now we want to move to another sheet but the same thing we want to move within same document but within this document we want to move to another sheet that sheet number is 11018 and we want to move maybe to cell a1 is okay and here you can see this option is inactive here because we already have text or uh, sorry we already have numbers in our relevant cell so we will go for okay and here you can see now this is in blue color means now we have hyperlink with this with these numbers when i will click on this you will see this is directly taking us to sheet 1108 in which we have pay slip for employee 11018 So friends till now we have discussed the use of hyperlinks to move from one point to another point within same document that uh, same document may be within same worksheet or maybe within different worksheets but within same workbook so now let's try another ways of using hyperlink as we have discussed this second way of using hyperlink now we will discuss this first way of using hyperlink for this we have here one more sheet here uh, this sheet in this sheet we have here summary of salaries for all of these months from january to november 2018 now let's say we want to move to this detailed file in which we have details for all of these months for that i have already created here one hyperlink that will take us to the file or uh, that will open the file in which we have details for our salaries in january so let me show you i will click on the when i will click on this you can see here this has opened the file that is january 2018 and that is salaries summary or uh, salary summary for month january 2018 so how we can do this suppose now we want to uh, directly link or we want to open for month may 2018 as you can see here there is huge difference in salaries of uh, salaries in may with other months so how we can do this we will right click on this we will go to hyperlink and here existing file or web page as this is not within same page or uh, sorry within same document as we want to move to an other existing file so we will go to relevant folder and here we have in this folder we have the relevant file the may 2018 as we want to move to may 2018 and if we want to move to maybe specific sheet within this file we will go to bookmarks and maybe we can select here relevant uh, sheet suppose we want to go to the salaries summary within this sheet and maybe to the cell maybe e5 and then we will go for okay we will go again we will go for okay and here you can see here we have successfully created hyperlink when i will click on this this will open the file that is may 2018 and you can see here sheet is salary summary and uh, relevant cell that we inserted there was e5 so this is the way how we can interlink different excel files so here one more thing that we can do with uh, just this first way of using hyperlink we can also directly connect with some web page how we can do this just uh, maybe we want to insert here maybe we want to uh, connect with google so uh, i will right click on this i will go to hyperlink and uh, same first option and uh, i will write here relevant uh, web page address maybe i will write google here you can see it is suggesting me already so google i will go for okay and here you can see this is now blue mean we have successfully inserted here hyperlink i will uh, click on this and uh, it should take us to the web browser and here you can see this is taking us to the google so the next thing now we have been discussed this first thing first way of using hyperlink and second way of using hyperlink now create new document now suppose that here uh, for december we want to create maybe uh, one more uh, excel file for december salaries so just let me drag it down now suppose that we want here that when we will click here this new file should be created as now we need to create 
or we need to calculate salaries for this number. So how we can insert a hyperlink that will help us to create one new file with name this number. So hyperlink and third option create new file and here we have two options create now or maybe later. Maybe we want later maybe at last of November we want this and now name of new document maybe name of new document December 2018. So we will go for OK and I will click on this. You can see here this has been created one new document that is December 2018. Now the one thing that you need to see here you don't need to save this uh, document that because it is already saved. When I will close it you can see here this is not giving me option to save or not to save because this is already saved in relevant folder. So now the fourth and last way of using hyperlink in Microsoft Excel. Just let me open this window and here you can see first, second and third. We have discussed all these three ways of using hyperlink. Now the last way of using hyperlink email address. How we can use this a way of using hyperlink. Suppose that for each month when we complete our salaries calculation, we send our file of or we send our salary file to our CFO. So for this number, how we can arrange here or how we can connect this cell with uh, our uh, email address of our CFO so that when we complete salary calculation of December we can uh, click here and this will directly open Outlook or our default browser to just uh, attach the relevant file and directly send it to our CFO. How we can do this? So to do this we will right click on this we will go to hyperlink and we will go to this last option that is email address and then here we will write relevant email address. Here you can see these are the email addresses that we have recently used. So here I will write the relevant email address that may be an email address of our CFO that may be CFO at maybe production.com. Here I will subject maybe uh, write subject maybe December salary and I will go for OK. Here you can see now we have an inserted head hyperlink when I will click on this. This, we, this should open here. You can see here mail, outlook, Google, whatever we want to do we can select. Here one more thing or one more tip that I want to show you. You can see here up to now we have been used hyperlink on different cells but we can also use hyperlink on picture shapes or even smart art smart arts. Uh, just uh, I have here file to show you. You can see here we have here these are pictures actually. Sorry these are shapes actually. You can see here I can move this but I have been inserted hyperlink on these shapes. You can see here this is statement of cash flow. When I will click on this this will take me to this sheet that is cash flow statement. You can see here when I will click on this you can see here this is taking me to this sheet. When I will click on this shape also this will take me back to this uh, sheet. We, this is same method we can right click on this and then we will go to maybe hyperlink just let me remove this and we will go to hyperlink and in hyperlink we will do the same thing to same document to cash flow statement to cell A1 and OK and here you can see we have been successfully inserted hyperlink and here you can see this is taking me, taking me to that sheet. So friends that's all for this tutorial. If you like this video please don't forget to give thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and press bell icon button. Also share this knowledge with your friends. If you don't understand anything just comment in below section. I will answer all of your questions and at last thanks for watching.